So we're finding areas of rectangular regular triangle. So we call a regular triangle is when all three sides are the same or when it's equilateral. For regular polygons, that means all sides of the polygons are congruent. Okay, let's label this stuff. This right here is called a side. Everybody knows that. Radius. And you're asking yourself, why is this a radius since I don't have a circle? So radius is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. If you were to draw a circle around it, that's why this is the radius of the polygon. Um, this is the center. And this is what we call the apothem. Apothem is the distance from the center straight to the side and it makes a 90 degree angle with the side. Um, I want to bring something else to your attention. So if we were to draw triangles inside of the triangle, because here we have this triangle right here. And this is going to come back to hunt you. Or it's not going to hunt you because you're going to know what you're doing. Now, you know that on this triangle, this angle is 90. But I don't know what these two angles are. But we can find out. If we look at it at separate triangles, this whole part, you know that the inside will be 360 degrees. And if I have one right here, one right here, and one right here. Three triangles. Each one is 120 degrees. Now, this one triangle, if you're looking at it, this is one entire triangle that I cut in half to make the yellow triangle. And they're all congruent, right? So this pink triangle is cut in half with a 90 degree angle right here to make the apothem to make the yellow triangle. So if I cut this pink triangle in half to get the yellow triangle, this one on top is 60 degrees, right? 120, cut in half, 60. That makes this one a 30. We're gonna come back to that a lot. Um, and this is the formula to find the area of any polygon is perimeter times the apothem divided by two, or half the perimeter times the apothem. For this example right here, we have the side, side right there. We don't have the apothem, we don't have much. But we do know from our example right here that this cuts the triangle in half. So if this is cut in the triangle in half, if the whole thing is 18, I have this part as 9 because this one is also 9. So there goes that. And I also know this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm going to make it bigger. So 30, 60, 90. These are the ratios. Most of you already memorized because we did so much of that that is not even funny. Uh, 9 is across from 60, so 9 is across from 60, and I need to find the apothem. Apothem is right here, is right across from 30. So A right here, this is A, this is 9. I'm gonna make A right there, how about that? That looks more like an A. Alright, so x square root of 3 equals 9. I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 3, and then we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by square root of 3. When you simplify that, you get 9 square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Now you have to simplify this fraction. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So x is 3 square root of 3. 
and x is the same thing as the apothem. So the apothem here is 3 square root of 3. All right. Now we can find the area of a regular polygon, in this case, a triangle, by doing perimeter times apothem divided by 2. Perimeter of this triangle, perimeter, you add it all around. And I'm not going to spend time going over how to find the perimeter of a triangle. You just need to do 18 times 3 to get all around. So 18 times 3, 54, times the apothem. Apothem is right here. Divide by 2. Put this in the 54. Times 3 divided by 2, 81. Square root of 3. You do not put the square root of 3 in the calculator because you're going to leave it in terms of square root of 3. Or you're going to leave that in terms of square root. So area, 81, square root of 3 meters squared. Because we're talking about area. So quadrilaterals, everybody knows this is the side, and this is a square, not simply a quadrilateral. Again, this is the radius. For the same reason the other one is the radius on the triangle, if you were to draw a circle around it, this would be the radius of the circle. Center, and then the apothem. Don't kill yourself to find the apothem here. Notice the apothem is half of that side. This is cut in half and all four sides are the same. So that means the apothem is half of the side. Um, and if you were to continue those, like on a triangle, so now I have one, two, three, four triangles. I'm gonna color it pink like I did on the other triangle. And the interior angles will always add up to 360. Now if I have 360 to divide among four triangles, each one of those I'll have 90 degrees. Now my yellow triangle right here was created by splitting the pink triangle in two. So if this angle was 90, split that in two, is 45. If this one is 45, this one has to be 45 as well. So find the area of a regular polygon. So this, they gave you the apothem. And like I told you in the example right here, or definition right here, the apothem is half of the side. If this is nine, this is 9. That makes the side 18. Perimeter. 18 times 4. Do I have to write it down? All right. So we, we're going to apply the formula here, but you really don't have to. So I'm going to do it both ways. Perimeter times apothem divide by 2. Perimeter, 72. Apothem, 9. Divide by 2. Three twenty-four. Now, everybody knows that for you to find the area of a square, you square the side. So area of a square, you get the side and you square it. That's why it's called a square. So area of a square is the side squared, same as 324 that you just found using the formula. So you can do it this way or this way. Doesn't matter, you're gonna get the same answer. 324 square inches. One more. Now this one is not as easy as the other one. This one I do not have the apothem, but we do have the radius. And I also know that this is This triangle is a 45 45 90 
We close the door for me, Joe. Thank you. 454590. And let's get the ratios. Thank you. So this is the hypotenuse. 2 square root of 2 is right across from 90. So 2 square root of 2 is right across from 90. Some people are really good about just if these two are the same, so that means x equals 2. But by definition, these two are the same. And when you solve that by dividing both sides by a square root, these two simplify, these two simplify, x equals 2. So you can actually go through the whole entire process of doing that, or you can just look at it and go, oh yeah, x is 2. And that's the same as the apothem. That's why we did the whole thing. The apothem is 2. So to find the area, we do the perimeter times apothem divided by 2. Now that I know the apothem is 2, remember the apothem is half the side. This side is 4. For me to find the perimeter, it's 4, 4, 4, 4. Perimeter, 16, times apothem, 2. Divide by 2 formula, you get 16. That's all I got for you.